where you going with it? I don't. You just making stuff up. You're trying to look better than me. Honeycomb Experience um, event, Fifty Shades of Beauty, with a little twist. I'm actually hosting tonight, so yes, I will be vlogging as much as I can, but I'm going to be on stage hosting y'all, way outside my comfort zone. I believe this is where I'm going in. I'm about to check and find out for sure. Right, everybody's hanging out. I'm going to go check out the vendors. Right here. I'm going to check out these candles. So just got me a candle. Got me a mask. This is the all over here. We got the merch right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? You tried this page and I know. This one was the last one. Hanging up in the water. Okay. Now, meanwhile, before I do, can you get enough? I'm grabbing a shirt. Alright, so I'm sitting up here with a couple of models. You might recognize her from some of the. Um, this guy is new to me, yes, so I'm going to put their info down below, but they're going to be a little bit of fashion, a little bit of drink, a little bit of performing. You know how we do it here at the Honeycomb, so you need to be at one. Yeah. 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 This is the room that you will want to be in, all right? Everything is about opportunity. Because sometimes it's about adding value to the next person, all right? Sometimes you might not be able to get to that dollar, but you can meet somebody that got the dollar you need. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what this room is about. So let's make sure that when we do integrate and start getting interactive, let's make sure that we go on and get those followers and things of that nature, all right? That's why we're here. If you're not here, that network is going to be here, all right? Okay, now, who knows what... The, the whole theme of the thing is, who knows the word? Right, I know the honeycomb experience, but what is it? Fifty Shades of what? You, I can't hear that. Fifty Shades of what? Right, that's a lot of beautiful women in here. So I'm trying to understand why I'm not shouting that out. It's Fifty Shades of what? You. Okay, now, let's break it down. When I think about beauty, I think about B, right? Bold. So, I'm going to pull my phone out real quick because I don't want to get these definitions wrong. Right. CEO of Arco. Um, I had value to the room because uh, I came all the way down from New York City to meet you guys. So. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, real talk, um, do you have a key here? Oh, thank you. Sorry. Do you want a spot? I have some merchandise, and one of the letters inside of beauty was you. And uh, what we just explained is that everything is one of one. So every hat on the table is actually one on one. Uh, if you buy a hat and you purchase a hat, it belongs just to you. That's it. Thank you. Hustle, look at the hustle. Hi everyone. Alright. Um, so this is Survivor Value. I am a healer. I create herbal and spiritual. I'm not even driving here because my beautiful family's here. So smart and intelligent, and she has a home tea company and a whole store called Umi International. And the tea company is called the Tea Grows in Brooklyn. Cause she grew up in Brooklyn, I grew up in Brooklyn, um, and now we're here in Charlotte, building with y'all beautiful people. And we're all about health and wellness. You know, we try to, especially teach our youth how to eat better, put in better nutrients through teas, herbs different things that's good for you, you know, because we gotta eat better, we gotta do better, and we gotta, like, start talking about it, because some of the things we put in our body is toxic, and also, some of the things we watch and listen to, you know what I'm saying? So, I think that the value that I wanna bring today is, like, us holding each other accountable, you know, because me and my lady, we hold each other accountable, and, I support her and she supports me, and we just want to be that example to this room tonight, you know? And again, my beautiful family, I got my Aunt Betty and Uncle George here. They've been married like 63 years. Let's give it up for them. We can't be inspired to live a life that 
Lady Liberty. And, um, you know, thank you for my family and thank you for all of y'all beautiful people being here. You know, we all bring value here in, in one way or another by just being here. And thank you to this brother right here. Let's give him a shout out. How's everybody doing today? Everybody all right? Come on now, a little more energy now. Everybody all right? Yeah. All right, so my name is Evan Perez. Um, I'm also known as D Perez, cut it on Instagram. I'm a barber by trade, but I'm an entrepreneur by lifestyle. Uh, I own Touch Precision Barber Lounge. We currently have uh, two barber shops and a barber school off Avenue Road for those who live in Charlotte. But I'm here representing my hair care company. It's called Grand Hair Hair Care. And uh, basically, we just created different formulations to be able to give y'all organic solutions for all healthy hair. So if you have curls in your hair, if you rock locks, uh, even if you're doing like the updo size or whatever, we have foams and everything for you. So pretty much if you grow hair, we have an organic solution to take care of your hair and keep it nice and healthy. Also, I want to thank my man Reason for giving us this platform and I want to thank everybody for coming out because without support, you know what I mean, we'll be doing this for no reason. Y'all give yourself a round of applause and please come check me out back in the club. This has been a foundational year. Not just for me, but this shit really don't touch this generation's black community more specifically. Born and raised in Charlotte, I've seen us in the arts grow with opportunity. But it still seemed like we lacked the simple action of coming together. You know, unity. Or did we forget that? I don't think we did, but it's hard to come together without having a simple plan. More like a blueprint that the youth can understand. I think a reprint of the 1920s black renaissance, better known as the New Negro Movement. See, I need y'all to peek this. See, we became more fluent and made the arts our secret language. We had some people dance with it, sing with it, rap with it, paint with it, shit. All the way down to cooking in the kitchen, whipping up meals and splitting it. Shout out to my chefs. And now here we are in the foundational year. It's really time for everyone to get more prepared. That's why I'm now performing speaking to my peers. On top of that, everyone seems to be doing the same arts and whatnot, but listen up, people, we all have a part. Simply just do what makes you happy. My true revolution started with my heart, followed up with just a simple thought. Now nothing is ever too far. This is my generation's black renaissance, but the difference is we're more aware of our power. We embrace our power, and even though ego and pride get in the way, we still uplift with our power. So simply just do your part. This is my generation's 2020 black renaissance. Thank you. As if you could have functioned with the shit that I've been through. Mm. Well shit, hold on, come sit down. Baby girl, let me talk to you. Baby girl, I just wanna know, like, why my spirit speak to you? It's not like I sit around and chit chat with you, so what's up? I mean shit, you typically have no problems getting personal. Y'all act like people don't have problems, this shit universal. I'm your reflection, your example, I'm purposeful. I never promised to be perfect, but my past is hurtful. <laughs> All right, now you feel merciful. I don't need any more pity. I literally live my life like Tark when he did graffiti. No more walking around with my head down. I created my own crown. And you can keep judging walking around, not really making a sound. I know y'all negative people can't take that, but shit, it's time to crack down. I've held myself accountable, okay, so what you gonna do now? I'm not bothered, I'm getting guala, and shit, within the next year, I'll probably be in Guatemala. Meeting with the woman named Marsala, teaching me shit like Pagada. Yeah. 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 Now from this point on, just stay out my mix. I'm happy, I'm growing, and you're part of my community, so you gotta start soaring. Well, thanks for the talk, I gotta get going. Peace. I'm talking about the math and 
Don't got the way to see the big fish Well, I guess I'm a big bad wolf Fact. I ain't a bad bitch, that's all the other shit But I guess you ain't hear that hook Fact. Got something to offer more than looks right. If I go down, you got my books What? Right. Don't need me to show you this thing I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying She know I'm jewelry huh. She need she call my plug Oh, huh. what a baby girl, she thug She got niggas that keep them Care around, care around, care around That's some cuss Right? Say, don't make us turn around, turn around Go a little show, you gon' lay down Just for the world, let me do an eight thing It's already bossed up, baby Yeah, shit change, huh? That little hoe, she sexy, nah, that bit fine as hell right. And yeah, she independent, yo, by her own shit, hey I'm in the moment, now that I'm loving you I'm in the moment, now that I'm playing with you Eat you nuts, I got you out of your mind Out of your mind Got you feeling for me This is what happened when you fuck the pony Got me rocking the boat, you know I keep it flowing Got that run with the coke, I know you sexy on me Baby, you fucking
Quatro. Let's live it up. 